The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. Heaven O, oh, Heaven O, oh, Heaven O, oh. welcome to Heaven. I am your host, the Almighty, the Creator, your Lord, your loving Shepherd, Yahweh, Allah, Jehovah, the Supreme Being, the Holy Father. I am God. Before you judge me too harshly for playing God, just remember, I am not the first one to do this. No. Doctors play God all the time, and many actors have also played God. George Burns played God in three different movies. I've also been portrayed by Morgan Freeman and Alanis Morissette. As you might say, if Alanis Morissette can play God, anyone can play God. Perhaps I should break the ice with some jokes about me. Why wasn't Jesus born in the U.S.? because I couldn't find three wise men and a virgin. My karma ran over your dogma. Why did I create alcohol? So ugly people wouldn't be too lonely. What did God say after creating man? I can do better at than that. That's one for the ladies. Big Bang Theory, I sneezed. That won't happen again. I swear to me. At you! Oh, I bless myself. Of course I have a sense of humor. Why else would I make something like a duck-billed platypus? I love those monks. Some people say that when I talk to people, it's either divine guidance or schizophrenia. What do I call my nose? God knows. There are some things I can't even do. I can't please everybody. Jesus saves, so it's all right to put your money in a bank. Somebody asked me, how much is a penny worth in heaven? I said, a million dollars. Then they asked, how long is a minute in heaven? And I said, a million years. So they asked me for a penny, and I said, in a minute. Um. Why couldn't Jesus play hockey? He kept getting nailed to the boards. Um. Why must you be quiet in the church? You don't want to wake anyone. Mary. If Mary had Jesus, and Jesus is the Lamb of God, does that mean Mary had a little lamb? Oh, no. What kind of car does Jesus drive? A Chrysler. Yeah, yeah. How do you make holy water? Boil the hell out of it. People ask me, where would I spend my next vacation? I said, not Earth. The last time I was there, I got a girl pregnant, and people haven't stopped talking about it since. Jesus walks into motel gives clerk three nails and asks, can you put me up for tonight? Don't feel bad for Ma. Jesus, so he suffered and died, but now he has a high-ranking position in heaven. Oh, okay, I know it's nepotism, but, you know, I make the rules here, so it's okay. Uh. There are three types of religious braziers. The Catholic bras lift up the masses. The Salvation Army bras lift up the fallen, and the Baptist bras make mountains out of molehills. Uh, I had to get that bra joke after, out of my chest. I bet you never heard God tell a bra joke before. <laughs> uh, God told John, come forth and receive eternal life. However, John came in fifth and won a toaster. 
Who was the smallest person in the Bible? King David was a ruler, so he was only 12 inches tall. I saw a sign, God is dead by Nietzsche. So I wrote under it, Nietzsche is dead by God. For some reason, people think my first name is Andy because of the song. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I'm his own. Okay, my name is not Andy. At some funerals, kids get a little confused to sing, Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and into the Holy Ghost. <laughs> into the Holy Ghost. Okay, they're just kids. Just kids. Give them a break. Me, damn it. Oh, I shouldn't say my name in vain. Not even me. Let me tell you a little humorous side of some of your favorite Bible stories. Adam and Eve. Why did, when did I create Adam? Just a little before Eve. Why was Adam a fast runner? Because he was the first in the human race. Uh, did Eve have a date with Adam? No, but she did have an apple with him. <coughs> oh, bless me. Why was Adam created first? I wanted to give him a chance to speak before Eve came along. When I had made Adam, I rested. After I made Eve, no one has rested since. When this kid was told I made Eve out of one of Adam's ribs, he clutched his side and said, My rib hurts. I think I'm going to have a wife. Oh, kids just say the funniest things. Now, if I had put Adam and Eve in China, things might have been different. They would have just eaten that snake. Why was Adam mad? Because he was always raising Cain. The first baseball game was in the Bible. Eve stole first. Adam stole second. Cain struck out Abel, and the prodigal son came in home. And also, David struck out Goliath. Oh. Why couldn't a a Cain please me? Because he just wasn't able. Okay, we'll go to Noah. While Noah was building his ark, people kept asking him, asking him questions. Why are you building this ark? It took him a hundred years to build it. So. He had plenty of time to answer the questions. He said, he was just saving it for a rainy day. He'd point to his high waters and say, just waiting for a flood. You know, Noah was a great fianceer. He floated the stocks while everyone else was in liquidation. Not all the animals were in pairs. The worms came in apples. Why couldn't they play cards on the ark? Because Noah stood on the deck. Why did Noah, how did Noah discipline the chickens? Because they were using foul language. Noah was a natural to build a ship. After all, he studied architecture. <laughs> what kind of lights do they have on the ark? floodlights. Who was Noah's wife? Joan of Arc? No, no, she came later. What money did they have on the ark? A buck and a doe, and the duck had a bill, and the frog had a greenback, and the skunk had a scent. What's the first state mentioned in the Bible? Arkansas. Remember, no Noah looked out the ark and saw, okay, you get that one. What animals brought the most luggage? The elephants. They brought trunks. Not swimming trunks, the big trunks with all their clothes in them. Okay, when they started making the Tower of Babel, I made everyone speak different languages so they would abandon the project. They did, but... Nothing has been right in Babylon ever since. They're still babbling. They're still babbling in Babylon. They're between Iraq and a hard place. Now, Abram, he was a smart guy. 
because he knew a lot. Yes, his nephew was named Lot. You remember the Lot. His wife was worth her salt. Yes, she was the salt of the earth. Yes, Lot and his family used to live in Sodom. Remember Sodom and Gomorrah? Don't mess with God. I may not like it. You can tell by the Bible when I say something, I mean it. Except when I'm telling jokes, of course. Then you can laugh. Anyway, Lot lost his wife, but he managed to have kids with his daughters. Not recommended these days. Um, didn't I destroy Sodom and Gomorrah for doing stuff like that? Well, I gave Lot a break. Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, there you can have a blast. If you didn't want fire from heaven. I destroyed the whole world once with Noah. But with Sodom and Gomorrah, I cut back to destroying a couple of cities. I guess I was getting a little soft. Why did Lot's wife turn around and die? Maybe she was dissatisfied with her lot in life? <laughs> no, everything came out good. Sometimes people get my Bible stories wrong. Here are some examples. In the beginning, God split the Adam and made Eve. God made the world and said, give me a light. And someone gave him a beer. <laughs> Cain hated his brother as long as he was able. Noah invited the dinosaurs on dark, but they took a rain check. Joshua won the Battle of Jericho. <laughs> Maybe in his later years. Solomon had 300 wives and 500 porcupines. No, 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 no. Jonah was a major league prophet. He got swallowed by a whale and was down in the mouth. Then he got buffed up on the beach. <laughs> there were some minor league prophets, but they didn't make the majors. Yeah, some people don't read the book very clearly. After the Old Testament, there was the New. Jesus was a star. He was born in a mangy place. He argued with the priests and the Ferris wheels. Jesus had 12 opossums. Most were good, but Judas Escargot was a bad egg. Judas gave Jesus the kiss of death. Jesus healed the leopards. I guess he was a vet, or they thought he was. He preached to the Germans on the mount. Jesus upset the Romans and the Pelicans, so they nailed him. Pilate cross-examined Jesus. Jesus got cross with Pilate, so Pilate sentenced him to be cross-dressed. No, 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 no. Wrong. Oh, myself. No wonder there's so much misunderstandings about the Bible. Anyway, after Abraham came Isaac and his twin sons, Esau and Jacob. Jacob was intense. I saw Esau, saw the seesaw. <laughs> Jacob was a famous ladder in Israel. Esau sold his birthright to Jacob for some soup. His birthright wasn't worth beans. <laughs> Ishmael was another son of uh, Isaac. He was the son of Hagar the Horrible, Abraham's servant girl. Anyway, Esau was born first, and Jacob was a heel at his heel. Uh, Abraham also married Keturah, who bored him. More children. <laughs> Esau was a hairy, swarthy fellow who liked to kill animals. Well, Jacob was a mama's boy. But sometimes that makes a difference. After Jacob cheated Esau out of his birthright. He also fooled his father Isaac, who was blind, into thinking that he was his older twin brother. Rebekah, Jacob's mother, disguised him to look like Esau so Jacob would get Isaac's blessing. So Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau cursed. Esau went to hunt Jacob, but Jacob ran off for 20 years so Esau could cool off. Talk about your sibling rivalry. Oh, bad people, but they make great stories. Eventually, Jacob and Esau got together, kissed, and made up. Jacob had a son, Joseph, who was not Jesus' stepfather, 
but an earlier Joseph. He had a famous coat of many colors, and he was immortalized in the music by Andrew Ward Weber. But you won't hear his music here. Anyway, Jacob, Joseph, was a dreamer and Papa's favorite. So all of his other brothers really hated him. They kidnapped him, sold him into slavery, and faked his death. Oh, me almighty! The sibling rivalry thing keeps happening. Oh, but where would the stories be without it? Joseph uses his skill in dreaming to impress his master, the pharaoh of Egypt. Joseph becomes a big shot in Egypt with pyramid schemes. He was such a dreamer, you could say he slept his way to the top. Yes, by interpreting dreams, of course. Moses. Moses and the Israelites wandered in the desert for 30 years. He wasn't the type of guy to stop and ask for directions. Pharaoh's daughter knew how to make money out of denial. When she saw baby Moses in the basket, she drew out a little profit. Oh, Moses was bad sometimes. Once, he broke all of my commandments at once. That's when he dropped the tablets. But I gave him an extra copy. While Moses was trying to convince Pharaoh to let his people go, there were plagues on the Egyptians like frogs and flies and floods and hails and locusts and no cables and telemarketers and door-to-door -door salesmen and student loan collectors. Oh, oh. oh, those Egyptians had it bad. Moses was known as a mathematician. Why? Because he wrote the book of Numbers. What happened when I gave Moses the Ten Commandments? I said, take two tablets and call me in the morning. Moses wouldn't talk to the Bush family when he was visiting the U.S. Why? Because the last time he talked to a Bush, he had to wander in the desert for 40 years. The Pharaoh couldn't admit that Moses had beaten him. He was a real king of denial, you might say. What's the first court case in the Bible? Joshua judges Ruth. And then there was Samson. Now there was a man, Samson. Once he started a huge fire in some fields by tying torches to the tails of 300 foxes. Not very nice to animals, though, but a real man. What kind of luggage did Delilah like? She preferred a Samsonite. Now, Samson was also the best comedian in the Bible. In fact, once, he brought the whole house down. What kind of man was Boaz before he got married? He was a roofless man. And then he found Ruth, and he was no longer roofless. David and Goliath. This proves the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Except for me. It was bound to happen. After all, the big guy was practically bragging, hit me with your best shot, fire away. And David replied, I will, I will rock you, rock you. Did you know David had a noisy car? Yes, David's triumph was heard throughout the land. You could also call David the babysitter. Why? Because he Rock Goliath to sleep. <laughs> David also has the biggest case of constipation because he sat on the throne for 40 yeah. years. Don't tell David any ghost. Don't tell Goliath any David jokes. He already fell for them once before. David and Bathsheba's first son died as a baby. Their second son was called Solomon, which means replacement. <laughs> That's true. Some things about David I didn't like. When he sent Bathsheba's husband Uriah out to battle to get Uriah killed. To David, so David could take Bathsheba for himself. No, you can't do that and get away with it. Did he really think I wasn't looking? Okay. Now King David was eventually seen succeeded by his son Solomon, who was known for being a wise guy and a gangster type. Solomon consolidated his power by wiping out several potential rivals, 
including his older brother. <laughs> Solomon was good at solving people's problems. Once, two women came, claimed that the same man had proposed to both of their daughters. Solomon proposed that the suitor be cut in two. Go ahead, the first woman said. And the other woman said, no, spare him. Let the other daughter marry him. And Solomon said, let the first woman's daughter marry him. And one of Solomon's advisors asked, why, your highness? You didn't decide the baby custody case this way. Why did you give uh, it to the first woman who wanted him cut in half? And Solomon said, by agreeing to cut up the potential son-in-law, she showed that she is the true mother-in-law. <laughs> What's such a wise guy, that Solomon. Solomon also had 700 wives. So when any asked, anyone asked him if he believed in polygamy, polygamy, he replied, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. That was like one of Solomon's weddings. Solomon insisted, insisted he was completely loyal to all of his hundreds of wives, concubines, and mistresses. But even I had my doubts. I didn't punish him, punish him, hint him, but I broke his kingdom up after his death. Now Job. Job, I admit, I was a little hard on Job, but I knew if anyone could handle adversity, it was Job. You see, I had a bet with the devil. Now, don't any of you be doing this. Don't bet the devil. I bet that Job would be loyal to me even though he was, would lose almost everything he had. It was a cruel experiment. I admit, but Job came through. On the lighter side, did you hear about what the time Job went to the chiropractor? At Job 16.12, it says, I come to be at ease, but then he proceeded to shake me up, and he grabbed me by the back of the neck and proceeded to smash me. Um, a trip to the chiropractor with Job. Not as bad as the things I let happen to him, though. Job forgave me. Daniel. The king asked Daniel if he wanted to feed the lions. What the king didn't tell him is that he was going to be on the menu. Yeah. Yeah, that was a tart thought. When Daniel was invited to hang out in the king's den, nobody said anything about the lions. Yeah. Daniel's friends were also thrown into a fiery furnace, but they didn't get burned up about that. Yeah, they kept their cool. Now Jonah, another prophet, got swallowed by a whale. He was a little down in the mouth about it, but then he just... He just got out about it. A little down in the mouth, but Jonah got out. People trail jokes about me, of course. Some are better than others. In me, we trust. All others pay cash. Don't give me instructions. Just report for duty. Some people think I like stupid people because there are so many. Not exactly. Me, damn it. Oh, I shouldn't say my name in vain. Oh, oh. That's myself. I want to thank all of you songwriters out there who have written songs about Re. They have been great, and I enjoyed them. Joyful, joyful, we adore me. God of glory, God of light. Day by day. Oh dear me, thief, brings I pray, see me more clearly, follow me more dearly, follow me more dearly, day by day. Holy, 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 me almighty, God in three persons, blessed eternity. Praise me from all blessings flow. Praise me from them below. Praise me, praise me. Glory be to me and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. Oh, bless me, my soul. Oh, bless me, my soul. I got the whole world. In my hands, I got the whole world. 
In my hands I got the whole world. In my hands I got the whole world in my hands. We gather together to ask for my blessing. To me be the glory, great things that I have done. From to the Father, from the Father and Son. To me be the glory, great things I have done. I move in mysterious ways. I move in mysterious ways. Great is my faithfulness. Great is my faithfulness. Great is my faithfulness, honor and truth. I of all we praise. This is my world. All things wise and wonderful, I made them all. All things bright and beautiful, I made them all. All things wise and wonderful, I made them all. We are all in the family, the family of me. We are all in the family, the family of me. We keep on staying and we'll keep on praying. We're all in the family of me. Oh, praise me, oh, praise me, alleluia. Oh, praise me, oh, praise me, alleluia. To every face you turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. And a time to every purpose under heaven. A time for war, a time of hate, a time for peace. I swear it's not too late. Take me up to the spirit in the sky. That's where I win to go when I die. When I die and I made it to rest. Gonna go to the place that's the best. Do on the pit in the spirit in the sky. That's where I'm gonna go when I die. When I die and they'll leave me to rest. Gonna go to the place that's the best. Kumba me, Kumba me, Kumba me, Kumba me, Kumba me, Kumba me, oh me, Kumba me. Yeah, I love your song, songwriters. Keep uh, keep doing it up. Oh myself, oh myself, oh myself. Oh oh oh. Oh, now I'm sounding like one of my surrogates. You might see him in December. Do good things and read my book. Read my book. It's a good book. But don't drop, buy any autographs, copies. I don't sign my book. But read it. Do good things. Be good. Be happy. Help others. Help others. And you will too enjoy the riches of heaven. Thank you for spending this time with me. And I hope to see all of you soon. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I bless you. Goodbye. Have a great life. And I'll see you in the afterlife. You are good. Be good. Do things. Bye. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. Hello, my friends, my friends, my friends. Hello, my friends, fellow Americans, young people, debt burdens, college students, liberals, quasi-liberals, extreme liberals, far-left radicals, socialists, left-wingers, environmentalists, animal rights advocates, 
LBGTQ supporters, uh, reformers, idealists, uh, peaceniks, communist sympathizers, pro-democratic but not for Hillary people.